Hi, this is Amar from SSL Trust, and in this video, I am going to be showing you how to install an SSL certificate on Caprova. So, let's get started. So, this is the website that we're hosting on Caprova, and as you can see, this is not yet secure, and we're going to make sure it is. So the first step in this process is to generate a private key and a CSR or a certificate sign-in request. For that, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom on the SSL Trust homepage and navigate to CSR and Key Generator under Tools and Services. So basically, a CSR or certificate sign-in request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all the necessary information, such as the domain name and any business details, which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. Now I'm gonna scroll down and fill, fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name with that, www. The name of your organization. The organization unit, such as IT. Your city or town. Your state or province. Choose your country. Type in your email address. Book length, we're going to go with 2048 bit, which is the industry standard. And then click on generate CSR. So, this is your private key and your certificate sign request or CSR right here. Now, it is recommended that you store this on your desktop as a text file so as to be able to redo the configuration in case there is a hiccup in the process. Since this is a demo video, I'm going to keep this window open and move on to the next step, which is purchasing and configuring our SSL certificate. Okay, so I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage. And if you scroll down, you will see that SSL Trust has established partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities. And we have SSL certificates for just about all of your SSL needs whether you want to secure a simple website or a small business with a standard SSL certificate, a business SSL to show higher security and authenticity, or a premium extended validation EVSSL, which is an enterprise level certificate, which shows the green padlock in supported browsers and more. Wildcard SSL certificates to secure unlimited subdomains, and multi-domain SSL certificates to secure up to 500 domains with a single multi-domain certificate. Now, if you're not sure which certificate is the best for your website or business, please contact our sales team at SSL Trust and they'll be happy to help you out. Now, since this is a demo video, I'm gonna go with the standard SSL certificate and scroll down. Let's go with the common or positive SSL. Choose your duration. Click on buy now. Click on check out. Fill in your details real quick. And then click on complete order. Once you do that, you can head back to the SSL Trust dashboard. And select your purchased SSL certificate right here. And then click on start certificate configuration or provide the following URL to the person doing this for you. Now let's copy our certificate sign request from this window or your text file from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes and paste it right here. Click on verify CSR. 
and if these details look just like you inputted them then we're good to go server type we're going to go with nginx since caprover has provisions for this and then click on next step just fill in some more details here type in your email address now if you have a technical individual doing this for you please enter the details here otherwise we're going to use admin contact and then click on next step so now comes an important part of the process which is domain control validation so basically you have to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is SecDigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. Now you can do this in one of three methods, namely the email method, which is the easiest one. Now you'll be sent an email address on one of these five email addresses, which when you open should contain a link, which when you click on should validate the ownership of your domain name and your certificate should be issued. The second method is the HTTP file method. Now in this method, you're gonna create a text file with this exact name and you'll need to create these directories if they're not already there. And in that text file, you're gonna paste in these contents and then click on check file to make sure that the file has propagated through a server and is verifiable by SecDigo, available on the internet. The third or the method that we're going to use is the CNAME record validation method. So in this method, you're going to need to have access to your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you've pointed the name servers to. So I'm already logged into my DNS settings. And then we're gonna click on add new record. Type is gonna be CNAME. Copy the CNAME record value. Paste it right here in the host box. Do the same for the CNAME value. Copy. And paste it right here in the point in two box. Click on save. And now we're gonna click on the check DNS record to check the propagation of our CNAME record on the internet. Now, do mind that this process takes from a few minutes up to an hour, depending on your DNS service propagation speed. So just keep coming back here and wait for your record to propagate in enough places. In the meanwhile, we can submit our configuration. And as you can see, our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we're awaiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. And as you can see, our domain control validation is complete. It didn't take much time. Now, if this doesn't work for you, then open this drop down menu and select your method of validation. And then click on the recheck button to refresh things on SecDigo's end and help you get your certificate quicker. Now, if you are not able to find this window, the Demand Control Manager, we're gonna head back to the SSL Trust dashboard, select your product or service, and then there'll be a button here called Access Validation Manager, which you can click on to, do, to access the Validation Manager. Now, as our certificate has been issued, we're going to click on the collect or download certificate button right here. And you can see all three of the certificates right here, the main certificate, the intermediate certificate, and the root certificate. Okay, so the next step in this process is to upload the certificate files to our server. And we're going to do just that. So I'm going to need to access your server as root via your preferred command line editor so i'm gonna log in real quick to my server as root okay so now that i've logged in as root to my server via your preferred cli 
here's now time to create a directory to store all of our certificate files. So we're going to do just that. And I do need to mention that you can find a written guide in the very description of this video, which you can refer to for all the commands used here and more. So let's go the directory assets. So we have already created that directory. So no worries there. Let's upload our private key to the same directory. Let's call it private.key. And we're going to copy our private key from either the text file, this window right here, from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes. Copy and paste it right here. Control X. We have pasted our private key. Now we're going to do the same for our set both of our SSL certificates. Let's call it certificate.crt. Now head back to the certificate collection window, copy the main certificate to a clipboard, paste it right here, press enter, and now we can concatenate both the main certificate and the intermediate certificate to form one file. So just copy your intermediate certificate and paste it just after the main SSL certificate. Control X. Yes, enter. Now that we have uploaded our SSL certificates to our server, it is now time to install them. So let's close this up and head over to the cap rover dashboard. So that will be at captain.sslguides.com.au. Log in real quick, captain.yourdomainnode.com and then head over to settings. And then scroll down to Nginx configurations, load default and edit. So scroll down to this location right here, slash etc slash Nginx, so and so, captain root configuration. And now what we're going to do is make a few changes right here. We're going to change the SSL certificate and the key path. So let me zoom in. Now we're gonna, so make sure that you leave both the percentages there as they are, the percentage sign and make changes between that. So let's input the directory, slash etc slash thirds slash certificate.crt and do the same for the private key, slash etc slash set slash private dot key now that we have input the, the directory click on save and update and just wait for our page to refresh and for the changes to take effect okay so it has been a while and let's check the website now so navigate to HTTP, HTTPS colon double slash your domain name dot com. Our certificate has been successfully installed. Our site is now secure. And our certificate is completely valid. So this is how easy it was to install an SSL certificate on your website in Caprover. Now if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and there is a written guide available in the web description of this video which you can refer to for all the commands and the process and if you're into all things ssl please consider subscribing to our channel and as always thanks for watching